I'm here with Jacqueline Frank, the amazing paranormal author, soon to be erotica author. She's writing both now. <laughs> and soon science fiction romance. And soon science fiction. So yeah. you've got tons of things going on. <laughs> um, all in the last few years, you have 10 books out now, um, four more to come, I believe very soon yes and you started a little bit kind of unusually I guess I you, did. you didn't you didn't do your normal like pitching or, nope. or submitting no um, can you tell us a little bit about that story it's really funny because everybody says can you give me advice on how to um, become a published author what should I do what should I do and I have to when they when they when they write me emails about it, I have to write them back and I go I'm the wrong person to ask because I kind of ass backed into this whole thing <laughs> so I I didn't do the the normal thing which was um, and, and my advice now is to join your local RWA chapter um, write write you know uh, write 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 and then take part to that and submit to authors go to these kinds of events and have one-to-ones and that's what, obviously what everybody says but my story was I was I was in a really, really bad place in my life. I was, I was, I was just this shy of homeless. I was on disability, sick as a dog, or, and I shut in because I had given up on basically the entire world as we knew it, you know. And the only world that mattered to me anymore was the ones that I was making up on my computer. And um, so, and the only thing that I had to sustain me was my writing. I, I loved to write. And, and I shared that with a very small circle of friends. And they were all like, oh, you're so good. You should submit. You should do something, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you're my friend. You have to tell me that. And I'm sure there's a lot of people who feel the same way, who are doing the same thing with their little critique partners and stuff. And so I was just like, no, 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 no. I couldn't do it because it was like my last vestige. It was like my, it was the only thing I had left that was sacred just to me it was my little thing and I couldn't tolerate the idea of giving it to somebody else so that they could go sucks this sucks I don't like a rejection letter rejection letter rejection letter I could not possibly have subjected well, a lot, myself a to lot that of aspiring authors I think really feel that way because in a way you know it, it's your baby it's it's your it love. is it it's, is it's your baby you spent so much time on and to give it to somebody that could red stamp it reject it or not even read it right I think it's terrifying. that's the other thing sometimes you, 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 you people are have to hand out rejection letters just to thin out the the slush pile and they don't even touch the thing you know so which is Tra traumatic, I'm sure. For I couldn't imagine. I've never gotten a rejection letter because of the way I asked back into this. <laughs> I couldn't imagine getting a rejection letter even now as, as, as a successfully published writer. It would still kill me. <laughs> I'd still be so, But you, you finally did submit. You finally took the leap. Well, I, I, I actually I, I entered a contest, uh, bra the, the Brava contest. It was in their way of searching for new authors. And um, and I loved Lori Foster. She was one of my favorite writers. And, and I, to the, to the point where I was propelled to go and look at her website. And that's where I saw about the contest. And the, the end date for the contest was only two weeks from now, from then. And they only had certain um, parameters. So you could only do, you could only do uh, historical romance or contemporary romance, because that's what the Bravo line published. And that wasn't my forte. My forte, as we all know, is, is, is paranormal. So going off in all kinds of weird directions. Well, and also, and with that contest, you can only submit three pages. You can only do three pages. And so for an author, that's got to be a pretty intimidating, okay, well, three pages, which do I pick? I could have just sat here and I, I could have just sat there and I've never written either one of those, a historical or a contemporary. So I had to, I could have just sitting there and written three pages, but I couldn't do that. I had, in that two week period, I wrote an entire book and then I had to, I picked those three pages and then I was like, no, no, I don't want those three pages. And then I picked another three pages and then I'm like going to my girlfriend, do you think I should do these? Do you think I should do these? So I finally picked my three pages, submitted them, promptly threw up and threw up again. Probably the next day I threw up again because I was just like, I can't believe I did that. I wanted to take it back. Right. Instantaneously, it's gone. It's, but it's once, in the world. But, um, but in a way, it turned out to be a good thing. It did. It did. Uh, you it, press that, press that enter button. Just press that send button. Do it. What's the worst that can happen? They can tell you no and reject you. And then that is the worst that can happen. And you feel like that's the worst. But you know what? It's no different than a guy 
shining you off, you know, just saying, Psst, whatever, you know, just so. And there's lots of publishers out there. There's lots of editors, right. there's lots of agents. That guy may not like you, but the next guy might. You know what I'm saying?